We'll take a timeout. We'll come back and we'll hear from our head coach, Ron Sanchez. That conversation is brought to us by Bojangles. Again, Bojangles, it's bow time. This is Niner Basketball from Learfield IMG College. When you need a new bike or office chair, even a water filter, go next? online and yes. look for the best. All right. So of course you'd be willing to search like high and low for something much more important <laughs> oh, really? like the best yeah. health care. <laughs> like what if you didn't have yeah, to? Yeah, it could have been more What action. if there was an award-winning health system close to home? Well, there is. Atrium Health, the only health system in the region nationally ranked by U.S. News and World Report. When it comes to the best for your health, the choice is clear. Learn more at atriumhealth.org slash best. At Ortho Carolina, personalized orthopedic care goes beyond my appointment. Accessible, comprehensive, and compassionate. It's... Tip-off is just around the corner. Let's get the final word from 49ers head coach, Ron Sanchez. Brought to you by Bo Jangles. It's Bo time. Here with the coach is Matt Swearat. Well, tonight back at home, the Niners uh, taking on the Bulldogs of South Carolina State. We're joined by head coach Ron Sanchez. And uh, coach, uh, getting out there again, it's on a you know, Monday night, played on Friday, so you get that quick turnaround and get these guys back on the floor. Yeah, no, at this point, you know, we're just trying to establish our rhythm, you know, continue to play games and
Good evening, Donna Nation. Welcome. And your show at 49ers. Here we are tonight's starting lineups. First for the Bulldogs. At forward, a freshman from New Ellington, South Carolina, before Latavian Lawrence. At forward, a sophomore from Miami, Florida, 35, Sebastian Gutian. At guard, a freshman from Lake Wales, Florida, 14, Floyd Rideau. At guard, a sophomore from Charlestown, West Virginia, 10, Rossan Edwards. And a guard of grad student from Orangeburg, South Number 5, by Isaiah Felder. Bulldogs are coached by Murray Gavin, assisted by Real Pitt, Ed Stevens, and Joe Flegler. Uh, Nana Nation, we're live in the gold mine. Get on your feet and greet your Charlotte 49ers. That guard is going to from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, number 30, Siri Matos. That guard is sophomore from Huntersville, North Carolina, number 3, Bryce Williams. And for the senior from server number five, Milo Supaka. That guard a sophomore from highest level number one, Jameer Young. And a guard a Richard senior from Asheville, North Carolina 13, Jordan Shepard. Head coach in his third season, Ron Sanchez. Assisted by Aaron Fern, Cody Kimball, and Vic Savera.
give it up to Bryce Williams. Now left it goes to Shepard. Bounce pass low to Matos. Matos to the baseline. Throws it back out top. 14 to shoot. Niners have a 2 0 lead. Young now to Williams. Baseline right. Back at his man. In the lane. Left handed jumper. No good. Little left handed runner. And he missed it. The rebound in the hands of South Carolina State. Yeah, but look who was there. It was Milo Supico again. Almost got another tip in for the Niners. There's a pull up jumper. No good by Edwards. In and out. Rebound on the floor. Picked up by Bryce Williams for the 49ers. And the Niners going left to right. Shepard across the timeline on their side. Shep throws it back out top now to Jameer Young. Out between the circles. Bounce pass to the high post to Supica. 16 to shoot. Over to Young on the wing. Young on the left side. Now inside the arc gives it to Milos. Go back. Eaton down. Jump hook right hand. Good. Milos has a couple of buckets. Niners have it. A 4-0 lead two minutes into the game. And that's exactly how we wanted them to come out. Again, that was one of our keys to victory. Come out early, put that gas pedal on so you can cruise the rest of the way. You have to be able to take that against Guillotin all night long. Felder, left wing, 3 no good. Rebound on the floor, picked up by Bryce Williams. He'll run it on himself and now slow things down to the half-court line and get it in the hands of Jameer Young. The sophomore from Maryland. He's guarded by Rashawn Edwards. Gets it to Milos out top, right back to Young. Young stepping back, now driving left to the bucket. Off the glass, no good on the rebound. It's tipped around loose, and Guillotin comes away with the basketball for the Bulldogs. Again, I love the aggression early for the Niners, not settling for that open three-point shot. Pump faking, driving in, getting that high percentage shot. Haven't made it over the last couple, but again, Milos, that's a third straight possession that he's been there on the offensive tip, and has almost got to go three all, all three straight times. We do to Guillotin. He's going to draw a double team between Williams and Supiga. Throws it back outside. Shot clock down to five for the Bulldogs. Edwards out top. Pump fakes, takes a three, throws a brick off the left side of the backboard in the hands of Guillotin on the rebound. He puts it up and he scores. And now a whistle away from the ball. What's this one going to be? It was after the basket. Now they've not put the two points up on the board yet for the South Carolina State Bulldogs. Yeah, I saw them hold up. 0-5 for a second. Of course, there's no 50 out there. There's, of course, two fives out there as well. I don't know if they saw something down low after the play was already made. They're checking it there on the replay booth. So we'll have to – I mean, your guess is as good as mine, Matt. Yeah, I've got the TV replay in front of me right now, but they're not showing the actual replay of what happened. The officials are at the scores table. Good officiating crew here tonight, a veteran crew. Rick Crawford, the uh, lead official, and then you got uh, – Antonio Petty and Brent Hampton. And Rick Crawford and uh, Petty are at the scores table looking at the video monitor and trying to sort this out. Three minutes into the game, the Niners have a 4 nothing lead at the moment. Now, South Carolina State did just score a basket, and we'll see if it counts. Yeah, and, and, Matt, whenever we were talking before the game about Bryce Williams, saying how big of a game that we would like for him to have, Jackson Threadgill, a couple other guys as well. Of course, you want everyone to have a, a big game no matter what. But Bryce Williams, look, already he has two rebounds already. One of them he came in flying from the three-point line. The other one he received at the three-point line after George Shepard saw that go by him, a long, offensive, a long defensive rebound there. Love the aggression already. And, he looks like he's just a, a lot uh, physically a little bit better th this year as well as Bryce Williams just being able to bring that physicality uh, to his game. And I think that maybe get him a, get, get him going a little bit more just whenever he sees himself in the starting lineup. But let's see what uh, what Crawford and the rest of the officials talked about over here. Yeah, Rick Crawford's explaining what he saw to Ron Sanchez. And the jump shot by Rashad Edwards. He was trying to draw contact and a foul. There was no contact. Now, it looked like Floyd Redu under the basket hit the deck, and I'm not sure if they say some, said somebody undercut him. That's a possibility. And they've gone back to the video again. <laughs> they're still looking at that. While they're doing that, we'll tell you that, did you know right now that Geico is offering an extra 15% on car, motorcycle, and RV policies? That's on top of what Geico already could save you. So what are you waiting for? Visit Geico.com to learn more. And we're still trying to learn what uh, Rick Crawford is uh, seeing on that video monitor. Let's see if they uh, announce I think, something here. I think they may say shot clock violation basket no good. There you go. Shot clock violation. 
waved the basket off because now on the three-point attempt by Edwards, he didn't draw iron. He hit the side of the backboard. He threw a brick up there. So apparently the shot clock was winding down, and then the putback by Guillotin was too late. There we go. Now the Niners get another possession. Again, already up four to nothing. Need to keep that gas pedal on. No quit in this team here tonight. I don't want to see anything. Shepard, now to Young out top. Niners in the front court. Running the offense. Young gets it back. Left wing three on the way. No good. Rebound to redo for South Carolina State. Here come the Bulldogs right to left. He's pushing it up the floor. Over to Edwards in the right key, right of the key. He'll back it back out. Reset the offense. He's guarded by the much taller Bryce Williams. Now Edwards out near the center circle. Shot clock at 14. Edwards left-handed dribble. Out between the circles, keeping the bounce going. And Staying right in front of him is Bryce Williams. Now Milos comes out to help. Five to shoot. Gives it up to Guillotine on the wing. The 6'10 Guillotine pulls up and throws an air ball. A shot clock violation. How about that? Terrific defense by the 49ers. Now Edwards was just dribbling for a long time out top, being guarded by Bryce Williams, and took a, a lot of time off the shot clock. Yeah, it looks like he wasn't happy with Latavian Lawrence, a freshman from South Carolina from New Wellington. He was asking for him to come out. And look, Edwards is going to come out of the ball game. Maybe his uh, coach and, again, Murray Garvin, his sixth season, not very happy with him as he brings in uh, Themis Foltz. But yeah, the, the offense that they normally want to run, that's a high pace. No one was moving at all. And then next thing you know, Guillotine goes, all right, I got to chuck up a three with a big six foot nine body right in front of me. Uh, Foltz in the game for the first time, another freshman. He's out of Winston Salem here in North Carolina. Left it goes to Young behind the arc. Now back to Matos. Shot clock at 10 for the 49ers who played four minutes. Niners have a 4 nothing lead. Matos right side, three on the way. Around the rim, no good. Fighting for the rebound to Supica. He comes away with it, puts it back off the glass, and he scores. Nice scoop off the ground. He took it right to the rim. 6 nothing. Here's a three in transition. Redo misses. Niners the rebound on the weak side. It goes to Shepard. He'll bring it up the floor. Yeah, I like the Niners right now. They're slowing things down. Again, they're settling for that three-point shot. Would still love it. Work down to Milo Supica. Now Matos. He'll feed Milos on the baseline, and Milos is fouled. Yeah, Matos probably could have taken it to the rim himself, but a great unselfish pass to Supica, who was going to go for the dunk, but he was fouled from behind. He'll get some free throws, but first a timeout on the floor. Our first break in the action, 15-24 to play here in the first half at Halton Arena. And the 49ers off to a good start. Milo Supica has all six of the points, and they lead South Carolina State 6 to nothing. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. At Oregon. Welcome back, 15-24 to play here in the first half at Halton Arena. Niners off to a good start and uh, leading six to nothing. All six points for Milo Supica as he's been very aggressive in the paint. Yeah, he, he has, and again, this is the aggression that we know he can, uh, can contribute every single game as he's getting dapped up by everybody over there to the on the bench. The assistant coaches, most of the guys on the bench just came over to him and dapped him up as it looks like he's actually going to come out, maybe get a little breather and bring in Anzac Rosetto instead. Yeah, Anzac, the 6'10 sophomore from Auckland, New Zealand, is on the floor now for the Niners. South Carolina State has also brought in 6'6 junior uh, Q-Main Nelson 
He's on the floor now. And Niners have an offensive foul. It's going to be on Anzac Rosetto. <laughs> moving screen, so Anzac comes in and makes his presence felt right away. <laughs> and now uh, Jackson Threadgill coming in now for the Niners for the first time, replacing Bryce Williams. Threadgill, the freshman from Concord, went to Davidson Day. Folks into the front court, bounce pass out high to redo. Out of the right side it goes. This is Moore who just came in the game as well. Trushawn Moore over to the right side and folks back to Moore. He'll let a three fly. He banked it in. How about that? He banked that one in from about 23 feet on the left side of the key. And it's now 6-3 to three Charlotte. Again, on that little closeout right there, Shep, he didn't go with his hands exactly. He didn't go with active hands with his hands up. He kind of went down to close out right with his hands around his uh, hip. And then, hey, hand down, man down, as Mark Jackson likes to say. Matos finds Shepard on the right side of the floor. Behind the arc, bounce pass to Anzac on the baseline. Back to out top it goes. They swing it around to the left corner. Matos is there. Three on the way. Got it. Nothing but net down deep left corner by Jerry Matos. And the Niners have their first triple tonight and now lead 9-3. to three. Yeah, it looks like a zone right there from SC State. And that's exactly what the Niners did. They brought in the three-point shooter and Jackson Threadgill as well, knowing they were going to go to that. And Jerry Matos eyeing down and being able to knock down the open three. Adal posting up, lost the handle, and now the Niners come away. Here come the Niners, they get a fast break. Shep to the glass, lays it up and scores. Good fast break, run and executed by the 49ers, and now lead 11 to three. Again, whenever you're out in transition, it's okay to go ahead, push the envelope, get to the bucket, especially whenever you have numbers. Again, that's not the Niners offense, but hey, defense will turn into that type of offense. Ooh. Jackson Threadgill caught reaching in against Redo on that left sideline. So Threadgill picks up his first and the team's third. And now coming on the floor is Caleb Stone Carowell replacing Shepard. Niners going very young right now. <laughs> they are indeed. What, Jameer Young's the only one who's got time out there before uh, this season. Him and Matos. Looks like Matos is actually going to stay in the ballgame. Yeah, Matos will stay in. Inbounds, it goes to Folks. Folks dribbles towards the right side. Bounce pass out top to Nelson. Nelson gives it up on the left side of the floor. Brandon Manning just came in the game. Manning has the basketball. He's a 6'3 junior from Pittsburgh, California. Folks on the right, shot clock at four. Folks picks his dribble up, shot clock at one. And they're not going to get it off. They didn't realize the clock was about to run out. And when Nelson caught the ball in the left corner, he had no idea there was one second remaining on the shot clock. That is the third shot clock violation for the Bulldogs in the first six minutes of this game. And it looks like the Niners, they're slowing the game down on the defensive end against a very high-paced team in South Carolina State. It's very tough to do, but again, against this pack line defense, they can do exactly that. Threat go at the free throw line, gets it back to Young. Looking inside, he threw it away. He thought Anzac would break to the basket, but he did not. And here comes South Carolina State. Into the front court, Folks dribbles behind his back, right of the uh, free throw line. Now gets it down low, and a good shot on the baseline put up by uh, Majuk Madol. That's his first bucket, and it's now 11 to 5. Niners have the lead. Caleb Stone care well in transition, missing the runner, and the rebound in the hands of Moore for South Carolina State. He'll quickly push it, get it to Folks, and Folks stepped on the sideline. Trying to put a move on in that left corner. He stepped back with his right foot and it was out of bounds. Yeah, I love that move by Caleb Stone Carewell. Again, comes in the ball game, first possession, coming his way on the offensive end, stays aggressive, goes baseline, tries to kiss it off the glass. A little too much. Might have actually been blocked from behind as well, but still love uh, that aggression right there from uh, number zero and white for the Niners. And yeah, Caleb could throw it in bounds in the backcourt, get it to Jameer Young, and Caleb gets it right back. He'll push it up the floor into the front court, right handed dribble, gives it up to Matos. Back out top, it goes to Young. Young out between the circles, gives it to Carowell. Now left it goes to Jameer. He'll run a floater up there, missed the shot offensive foul. He left his feet, and he's going to get called for a charge. That'll be his first personal foul tonight in South Carolina. State's going to get the ball back with 12.25 to play here in the first half, and the 49ers on top, 11-5. To yeah, again, in that 2-3 zone that South Carolina State's running right now, it's good passing on, on the perimeter by the Shaw and 49ers, working it from left to right and to the top of the key as well. And again, those pump fakes are going to be big. And Jameer Young went through enough zone last year in college basketball to be able to see that pump fake, know uh, how much that, how well that uh, pump fake can really execute. Shepard and Williams back in the game now for the Niners. And South Carolina State has the basketball in the front court. 
Folks dribbling out. Anzac came out to hedge with him. Left it goes to Folks. Folks will put it on the floor, stripped away by Bryce Williams. The shot clock is about to run out, and that's exactly what they call before the ball went out of bounds, the fourth shot clock violation by the South Carolina State Bulldogs. So the Niners imposing their will defensively on South Carolina State in the first uh, eight minutes of this ball game here tonight. We've got a timeout on the floor. There's 11.54 to play in the first half. 49ers 11, the Bulldogs 5. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. It's bow time. So it's game time, and you got a bunch of rabid fans. Dad, we're hungry. You head out to fire up burgers and dogs and go from grill master to MVP. Four shot clock violations. I like that. You're at the GA. Eleven fifty-four to go in the first half at Halton Arena. The 49ers lead over South Carolina State 11 to 5. When the holiday season is your busy season, drop a big bow box on it because with chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea, but it's 1999. You can't beat Bojangles. It's bow time. Inbounds to Caleb Stone Carowell for the 49ers. Little full court man-to-man -man for South Carolina State. Niners get it across the half court line. And now Shepard out top of the basketball, guarded by Folks. Shep goes to the left side, picks his dribble up. They work it now back onto the right, over to Threngill, the freshman from Concord. Milos is back in the game. He scored the first Niners six points tonight. Shepard throws it across four to shoot. Threngill for three. Bottom! The freshman's first made three on the season. And he is a tremendous shooter. Got to get his confidence going. We'll see a lot of that throughout this 2020-21 basketball season. Niners have a 14-5 lead right now. Folks, he'll try to take a three, and he buries it from the right side of the floor. And it's now 14-8, Charlotte. And just his second made three this season for Jackson Threadville, of course, coming in one for four. But again, that's why he was a top 50 shooting guard in the nation. Coming out of high school, picking the Sean 49ers over a plethora of D1 offers. And again, loving to see him in a Niner white uniform uh, here tonight. Stone Carowell gives it to Threadgill. Back to Stone Carowell out top. Now to Shepard. Back to Threadgill on the right side. He works around one defender. Goes off the glass with a mid-range jumper. No good. Milos for the offensive rebound. Back outside. They get it back out top. Now to Stone Carowell for three. That's no good. And on the rebound this time, it's going to be South Carolina State pulling it away. Madol pulled that one away. They get it up the floor quickly. This is Moore in the left corner. Throws it back out top. And now Folks will reset the offense. Folks is 6'1". He's being guarded by the 6'9", or 6'7", Bryce Williams. Folks dribbling out top. Goes down the right side of the lane. Tough shot. No good. Rebound Stone Carowell for the 49ers. And good defense by Bryce Williams against the smaller, quick, speedy guard. Threadgill's open. Three ball on the way. Good! He's made two in a row here tonight. That one deep in the right corner. And with 9.49 to play in the first half, the 49ers lead by nine once again. It's 17 to eight. Adal gives it up. 
Out of the left corner it goes. Tipped away at a pass that was tipped by Bryce uh, Williams. The Niners get it back and is now thrown away in the backcourt by the 49ers. It'll go back over to South Carolina State. Latavian Lawrence's pass was knocked away and stolen by Bryce Williams, but then the Niners gave the ball back. Yeah, still an extra possession right there for the Shaw and 49ers, though. Love to see the defense from Bryce Williams, but again, on the other end, Jackson Threadgill showing exactly why he loves to just post up in that side, but I love how the Niners, they had four guys on the floor even before Jameer Young just came in, one of their, of course, top guards. Uh, it, but they had four guys on the floor who were able to run the point, able to push the ball up the, the floor as uh, Stone Carewell comes out. But great minutes from him. Redo for three. That's no good. Rebound of the 49ers. Milo Supica clearing it away. Good two-handed rebound there by Supica. Niners can take a double-figure lead right now. They have a 17-8 advantage at the moment. 9-12 to play until halftime. Young has the ball on the right side of the floor. Now to Milos, he'll take a deep jump shot off the back of the iron, no good. On the rebound, South Carolina State. Latavian Lawrence cleared it away. Redo brings it up the floor, throws it away, but a foul call. And it's gonna be on the 49ers, Bryce Williams. And on Bryce, that'll be number one on the night. And number five on the team in the half. Now coming back on the floor is Jerry Matos. And for the first time today, Jared Garcia, the 6'8 freshman from Katy, Texas, who played his prep ball last season in Connecticut. So it's Young, Matos, Threadgill, Shepard, and Garcia for the Niners in the game. And Sebastian Guillotin is back on the floor, the 6'10 center, who is bodying up with Matos right now for South Carolina State. Now top of the ball is Lawrence. Now to Redo, shot clock at 12. Redo picks his dribble up, throws it back door, but too high and over the head, way over the head of Rashawn Edwards and out of bounds. And going to that offense possession uh, just a moment ago for the Charlotte 49ers, Milo Supica just inside the three-point line. Love to see the way that he can shoot the basketball. We know he can do it in practice. We've seen him do it. We've seen him do it and shoot around so many times. Never, I think he's 0 for 1 in his Charlotte 49 er career from three-point land. I would love to, not not for him to be able to shoot a three, but be able to extend and maybe spread out and be able to be that new five uh, that the NBA and college basketball is going to. Garcia looking for Matos inside the pass, a little bit out of the reach of Matos. Here comes South Carolina State, and a three knocked down by Isaiah Felder. Left side three ball to make it now 17 to 11. They're capable of knocking down a lot of triples. That's the first one for Felder. Now Shepard finds Matos. Matos on the wing, throws it back out top. 8.04 to go, Matos gets it back on the left. Here's a three and it's short. Rebound, South Carolina State. Under eight to go in the half. The Niners have a six point lead. Left corner, Felder's open. Three again, this time it's an air ball. And uh, it is a jump ball tie up between Matos and Sebastian Guillotine. And uh, Guillotin is going to have the ball stay with South Carolina State. The uh, arrow's pointing their direction. Timeout first, 7.50 to play in the half. The Niners 17, the Bulldogs of South Carolina State 11. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. Introducing new...
when did the you line are here. Charlotte basketball <laughs> is sponsored by Progressive's Home Insurance. Get your quote at Progressive.com today. <laughs> when you choose Ortho Carolina, you're choosing a nationally recognized leader in orthopedic care. Our providers have decades of experience in the research, diagnosis, and treatment of conditions and injuries affecting your muscles, bones, and joints. Ortho Carolina, excellence in care and service, one patient at a time. Ortho Carolina, you improve. Off the inbound, South Carolina missing a baseline runner. Niners get the rebound. Niners up 17 to 11, 741 left to play in the first half. Jameer Young out top of the basketball in the front court. Here in the first half, the Niners going left to right on the floor. Shepard gives it back to Young out high. Shep gets it back on the left side. He'll dribble in, skip it across to Young, open for a three ball. The lefty knocks it down. His first made three here tonight. Niners back up nine once again. Third time they've had a nine-point lead on the Bulldogs here in the first half. Again, being able to drive to the hoop and then kick it back out. Love to see that there by the Charlotte 49er offense. They went away from getting the ball into the paint. You don't want to the finish there. It just needs to be touched there at least once or twice possession. Runner by Lawrence is no good. Machos has the rebound. He'll push it, get it to Stone Carowell, who drives, puts it up. No good, but a foul. And he'll go to the free throw line. And a good fast break, under control fast break by the 49ers. Isaiah Felder picks up his first personal foul. And now free throws for Caleb Stone Carrowell, who so far this season is one of two at the stripe. And just playing nine minutes in that last game against Georgia State, but again, good nine minutes there, good 18 minutes in his first game as he knocks down the first free throw. But you know, we've seen him get the ball twice, drive into the hoop, and he knows that he's going to have a little bit of harm to go along with it. But again, he had an extra year, that redshirt freshman year with strength and conditioning coach Blake Bender and the rest of the staff to get strong, build that muscle, and be able to drive it in, take some contact. Makes both free throws, and now the Niners have their first double-digit lead. They've doubled up the Bulldogs 22-11. to and Zach Rosano's back in the game now for the 49ers. Out top is Rashawn Edwards for South Carolina State, guarded by Jameer Young. And Zach came over to double team. They work it now to the right side. Here's a three, no good off the glass, missed by Moore. Charlotte the rebound, Young pushing it. He loses it, but it's in the hand of Rosano who's fouled. The 6'10", and Zach Rosano is hit to the floor by the 6'6", Latavian Lawrence. And he'll go back to the free throw line where he's made some some free throws this season. And he's two out of three at the stripe in the first couple of games. Second foul, by the way, on Lawrence. And now the first free throw is good for Anzac. He's got a good stroke at the line. 6'10", sophomore from Auckland, New Zealand. Didn't get a lot of playing time in his freshman season, but he's going to see a lot more here in 2020-21. Yeah, definitely will. I think that even bringing in Ali Khalifa, again, he's not able to play thus far from Egypt. That really helped him out when it came to more of that finesse shot for the three-point shot. Missed the second one, but more. Uh, Macho, excuse me, Macho saved the uh, the rebound, but then threw it away, throwing it across the floor. Out of the reach of Stone Carewell, it goes out of bounds. 6.31 to go in the half. The Niners on top, 23-11 to 11 over South Carolina State. The Bulldogs shooting just 27% from the floor. Yeah, and seven turnovers now, eight turnovers on the ball game for South Carolina State. Again, very active on the defense end by the Niners. The hands are active, the closeouts are strong, and that's exactly what you want to see on the interior and exterior. Moore's drive is blocked by Rosetto. Here come the Niners, a two-on-one. Shep down the floor, lays it in. Great pass from Young on the fast break, and Shep with his right hand off the glass puts the Niners up 14. Wonderful offense right there in transition for the Niners. Again, their defense that they knew that they've been able to do this entire year. They haven't really shown it except for here tonight against SC Upstate and, and uh, sorry, uh, South Carolina State, I should say. Inside the paint, here's a walk. I believe, yep, they're going to call it. I'm a Jick Madol as he caught the ball right about near the uh, right elbow, just inside the right elbow in the paint. And as he spun towards the basket, he shuffled his feet. Another turnover for South Carolina State. Niners break the half court man to man. Now Stone Carroll on the right corner. Throws it back out top. Shepard's got it on the left side. Back to Young. Over to Stone Carrollwell. Baseline right. Back out top to Young. He'll spot up and take a three. Good! How about that? Jameer Young. He's made a couple of triples. 
Niners lead by 17, their largest lead so far tonight. Yeah, loving the offense there as Caleb Stone Carewell providing great minutes on the offense and able to spread the basketball. Felder for three, that's no good. Rebound to Stone Carewell. And the Niners on a 10-0 run. You stretch that out, it's going to be 13-3 to over the last 4.50 on the clock. Under five minutes remaining in the first half. Charlotte trying to get their first W on the season. Now Jerry Matos gets it to Rosetto out top. One dribble gets it to Shepard. He'll take a three to High Arker. No good. Rebound South Carolina State. And now Rashawn Edwards brings it across the timeline. Left-handed dribble. He'll drive at the elbow. Bounce pass in the corner to Moore. Back out to Edwards. Shot clock plenty of time. 17 to shoot. He'll back it out, Edwards, near the half-court line. Driving on Carowell. He'll give it up on the wing to Badal. Now back outside, it goes to Edwards. He'll pull up, tough shot off the rim, no good. Rebound, Charlotte. Weak side rebound to Shepard. He'll push it, lobbing it for Rosetto, who lost the ball going up. That might be a little bit too much to ask for the big fella on the fast break to alley-oop it like that. But uh, a nice effort anyway. And now the Niners will bring in some fresh bodies. Bryce Williams coming in, giving Anzac a breather. And uh, Milo's coming in as well as Stone Carowell goes out. Yeah, a little, maybe a little overzealous right there was uh, that. I don't really know if it was really an alley oop, but I think that's how Anzac Rosetto took it. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just try to see this miraculous, maybe dry, uh, uh, somehow get it and maybe go with a windmill. I don't know what he was trying to do there, but uh, it led to him coming out of the ball game and Milo Subica coming in. Famous folks skipping it across the floor, almost threw it away. Edwards having to jump high to save that pass. Folks gets it back out top to redo. Here's a three, no good off the iron. And the rebound of Milos Supica for the 49ers. Now Milos with four rebounds here in the first half. Jameer at the free throw line, shoots off the back of the iron, no good on the rebound, Milos over the back. And that'll be foul number one on the 49ers senior from Belgrade, Serbia. And we got a timeout. 3.37 to play until halftime, and the 49ers playing well right now. They're shooting 48%, holding South Carolina State just to 21% shooting, and the Niners lead 28-11. to This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. Hey, Harry. Three thirty-seven to play until halftime. The Niners on top of South Carolina State, twenty-eight to eleven. Jake Belay will donate ten meals, ten meals per assist for the Niners' entire season. Uh, donations will be made to the Jamil Niner Pantry, which provides food assistance to the UNC Charlotte students. Out of the timeout, South Carolina State basketball. Folks into the front court gets it to Redo out top. Redo stepping back on a three, got it. Straight away three pointer. Now snap that Niner run, which was 11 to nothing. So it's now 28 to 14. Charlotte leads by 14. Approaching three minutes to play until halftime. Matos in the front court. 
Over to Young. Now to Threat goes back on the floor. The freshman's made a couple of threes tonight. Charlotte's made five threes in the first half. Matos on the right side. Now to Bryce Williams, jump shot, good. Good catch and shoot jumper just outside the right elbow for Bryce Williams. It's now 30 to 14. Redo, pull up, good on the baseline, left side. Pretty good shooter getting that one away quickly. It's now 30-16. Yeah, Matt, I talked to uh, assistant coach and Aaron Fern right before the ball game, and I said, hey, who's the guy to look out for? He goes, I know he's only averaging 6.7 points. He goes, look at this redo kid. He goes, the freshman, he goes, he's got a beautiful shot. He goes, I don't know if he's going to be staying at South Carolina uh, State for too much longer. He goes, a lot of people are going to be looking at him. Thread goes straight away three, back iron this time. But he's starting to get that confidence. He's not hesitating tonight. He's getting that shot and shooting position and letting it fly. Exactly. 2-12 left to go in the first half. In the corner, Nelson pulls up. No good. Rebound, Charlotte. Threadgill pulls it away. Now to Jameer Young. Into the front court with it. Right-handed dribble. Now he gets it to Threadgill. On the left, back to Young. Shot clock at 19. Game clock under two minutes. Young on the right side behind the arc, finds in the corner. Matos, a three, no good. Rebound South Carolina State. Themis Fultz pulling that one down. He'll get it to Edwards. Now Edwards waiting for his teammates. And you can see the confidence uh, growing uh, possession by possession because Threadgill starting to dribble a little bit more. Same thing uh, with uh, Bryce Williams as well. Fultz, a three, no good. Bryce Williams, the rebound. Here come the Niners. Young to Threadgill. Reverse layup, no good, but a foul. He went up and under with the right-handed attempted layup, but he hit the bottom of the backboard, but that was after he got fouled. Matt, for a second, I thought he was just gonna try to tomahawk that bad boy. That would have <laughs> that would have gotten all what all uh, 90 fans that are allowed to be here at the stadium to jump up, and I think I might have even came to my feet on that one. Yeah, this is a uh, free throw is good for Threadgill. It is still odd to uh, you know have nobody in the arena they got all the upper deck curtained off with the black curtain uh, now with the COVID-19 protocols uh, very limited just to, you know parents I know Threadgill's parents are here uh, just a few folks in the arena we certainly appreciate everybody tuning in tonight on the radio and watching the uh, the video broadcast I believe on YouTube TV tonight 125 to go in the half and uh, the Niners have a 32 to 16 lead now as the free throws are made. Redo out top. Redo top of the key with it. Goes left over to Folks in the corner. Draws a double team. Dribbles out of bounds. But they say it was knocked away by Bryce Williams off of Bryce's foot. Again, active hands right there by the Niners are on the help defense as well. Anytime that ball gets near the paint, look out. Uh, for that trap by the Charlotte 49ers, although this is a high-flying offense, they don't like to keep the ball in the same spot. Nelson down low, and he's going to be fouled by Rosetto. Rosetto had his hands straight up, but his you know feet did leave the ground, and he gets called for a foul, his second personal foul. And by the way, you know, Threadgill, he made those two free throws, left the game after that. He's got he's got eight points in the first half of the Niners who have doubled up the Bulldogs 32 to 16 with 61 seconds remaining until halftime. And Cumain Nelson is at the line to shoot a couple here. And the first one is up off the back of the rim and no good. Matt, do you remember that, that crazy stat that I loved to go to last season? Is that the Charlotte 49ers had the best defense to any free throw shooters in the nation? <laughs> Remember they were leading that. I think they ended up leading yeah. the entire year. That was the dumbest stat. But, hey, it worked here in Hall and Arena. People wanted their chicken uh, their chicken sandwiches. That's right. The, you know, if they missed back-to-back -back free throws in the <laughs> second half, then everybody in the building wanted a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Second free throw is good. And they would go bananas <laughs> for free chicken. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that stuff is good. I don't know what they're putting in the chicken at Chick-fil-A, but I think everyone can attest it's it's not just some, it's not the typical coder that you would have on regular stuff. But man, what a full court press right here for SC Ups, for uh, SC State, but there you go, the Niners passing. That's the way to do it. You got to pass your way. You cannot dribble uh, through anything like that, uh, that craziness that, that the Bulldogs just tossed at the Niners. Young's going to take a three and bury it. 
Another three by Jameer Young. This one on the right side. And the Niners have a 35-17 lead with 35 seconds to play in the half. And Matt, he shot 47 for 126 last year to Jameer Young. 37.3% and showing it off this year as well. He's got nine points tonight. All three have come from the tray ball. Niners have made six threes, and I feel like they've made more than that. Uh, Young is now three for four from three. Threadgill, two out of three from the three-point line as well. When you need to fix something these days, you go online and hunt for the best. When it comes to finding the best health care, you choose, your choice is clear, Atrium Health, the only health system in the region nationally ranked by U.S. News and World Report. Learn more at atriumhealth.org slash best. So the Niners with a 35-17 lead, and Charlotte is at 48% shooting holding South Carolina State to 26% from the floor. And there's a two-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. There's 27 seconds left in the shot clock for South Carolina State. And to bring it up because they've had four shot clock violations in this first half. Folks has it. And their coach, uh, Murray Garvin, telling him to slow things down. <laughs> he was. He was sprinting. Now he's about to take the basketball away from him. He's out near the half-court line, now driving against Shepard, backs it back out again. Eight to shoot, he'll drive the lane, shots up and good. So Themis Folks able to get in there and score. Niners have some time still, four seconds. Jameer Young brings it up, he'll spot up on a deep three, and it's no good as the horn sounds. And we have reached halftime with the 49ers on top of South Carolina State by 16 points here at Halton Arena. 35-19 is the score at halftime. The Niners played well in this first half, and a lot of guys getting some time on the floor, and Jackson Threngill starting to knock down some shots and get his confidence. Yeah, and really loving what the Niners are doing and protecting the basketball. Again, this is a fast-paced offense and defense for SC State as the Niners just have five turnovers, and you'll take those, uh, you'll take that in the first half uh, any day of the week, but it's been the second half turnovers that's really harmed the Charlotte 49ers. They've played well in their first two games against ECU and Georgia State in that first half, but it's been the second half offense, the clarity, the execution has not been there. Our shooting 48% from the field right now, and again, holding SC State to just 29%, seven for 24 from the field as heck, four of those seven shots though, that they have made have been from long range, which keeping them in the ball game right now, Matt. So halftime now coming up as the Niners have a 35 to 19 lead over South Carolina State. Halftime is brought to us by your Carolina Ford dealers. And uh, coming up in the Chick-fil-A studios is Mario Washington. He'll take you through halftime and we'll come back with the second half in just a little bit. This is Niner basketball from Learfield IMG College. It's both. I will maintain six feet of distance between others whenever possible. I pledge to protect Niner Nation by wiping down the surfaces I use frequently. I will wave to others from a safe distance and follow directional signs on campus. Niner Nation depends on me. Niner Nation depends on me. Niner Nation depends on me.
tied with uh, Trevor Wilt and the 49ers on top at halftime by 16 over South Carolina State. It's 35 to 19. Charlotte held uh, the Bulldogs to 29% shooting in the first half. The Niners had, again, a, a pretty good balanced attack with Jameer Young knocking down three threes, nine points to lead the way. And uh, Jackson Threngill made a couple of triples as well, a couple of free throws. He has eight points. That's a personal best for him now in his third game. Milo Supica scored the first six points of the game for the Niners. He's added five rebounds. He's done a nice job. Yeah, they really have done a nice job of working the ball again inside the paint and being able to spread out on the perimeter as well. Again, down in the paint, they're taking high percentage shots. That's why they're shooting 48% of the field. Would love to be, love to see that go over 50%, of course. But again, 43% from deep. That's again, working the ball down lo low to Garcia. Even when Caleb Stone Carewell comes in. Rosetto, Supica, they're getting their easy shots, their high percentage shots, but then whenever they're pump faking as well to get through that 2-3 zone, they're able to kick it back out as well and get some wide open guys, and that's why you got a guy, Jameer Young, who's three for four from long range. He's got nine points, and also, of course, you got Threadgill, a guy that we highlighted before the game that we would love to see to make a couple threes here tonight. Well, Matt, ask and you shall receive, my friend. He's got two threes, two for three with eight points as well. So, again, Winning in every single offensive category, defensive category are the Shaw and 49ers, except for steals, where South Carolina State is up 3-1. to one. Themis Foltz and Floyd Redu Jr. each have five points apiece to lead the Bulldogs scoring attack. The score at halftime, 35-19. The Niners on top of South Carolina State. Second half play-by-play -play coming up. We come back. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. And we're about to begin the second half here at Halton Arena. Matt Swarad with Trevor Wilk. The 49ers on top of South Carolina State, 35 to 19. Niners to break the huddle with the same starting five that began the game. Jameer Young, Bryce Williams, Milo Supica, Jordan Shepard, and Jerry Matos. Rosetto is the only Niner that picked up two ID. fouls in the first half. Let's uh, pause 10 seconds for station ID. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. These are your teams, and this is your town. 7.30, the game. ESPN Charlotte. WZGV Craverton. And here we go to begin the second half. Here at Halton Arena, the Niners on top of South Carolina State, 35-19. And the Niners have it to begin the second half going from right to left. 
Jerry Matos out top. Over to the right side it goes to Young. Alley-oop to Shepard! And a slam! How about that to begin the second half? The alley-oop dunked by Jordan Shepard going back door. Niners have an 18-point lead. And Ron Sanchez and crew making a statement with that upcoming, uh, that first possession of the second half. Lawrence missing a runner. Niners the rebound. They run out. Now a three by Young, and it's no good. Rebound, South Carolina State. And now an official timeout is Bryce Williams, I think maybe turned an ankle. And he's going to come out of the game, and Jackson Threadgill is going to replace him. Yeah, it looked like he was going up for the, I believe, the offensive rebound. And, yeah, and like you said, he kind of he took off over there almost to trainer John Marshall and ended up trying to come back. And it was a, a heads-up uh, veteran officiating right there to say, hey, just go ahead and take Bryce Williams out of the ball game. Not even a minute into the second half yet. The Niners on top, 37-19. Redo out top to the free throw line. Bounce past the uh, left side over to the big guy, Guillotin. Guillotin back out to Redo. Guarded by Mato, shot clock at seven. Here's a deep three, and it's made by Isaiah Felder. So he has knocked down some big shots. Yeah, they have, and they know that's going to keep him in the ball game is making that three-point shot, and that's their bread and butter all season long. 37-22 right now. Niners with the ball in the lead. Just about 90 seconds into the second half. Jordan Shepard dribbling out top. Now to Threngill. Inside to Matos. Back out to Shepard. He'll drive by a defender. Find Young. Young in the corner. Drives baseline. Shot blocked. Milo's trying to fight for the rebound. He can't get it. Here comes South Carolina State. Now Felder again. Spots up for a three and knocks it down. Back-to-back -back triples for Isaiah Felder, and it's now 37-25. The lead has been cut to 12. And now look at this high intensity, this zone pressure that they're doing right now by the Niners. Niners break it, though. Milos with the layup. The pass came from Threadgill for the assist as they broke the press, 39-25. Yeah, I'd love to see that from Milos. He didn't go for that. Uh, th for the dunk, he just went for the easy two, and he's actually got and jarred at a couple times already this season for trying to go for that dunk attempt. Felder with a hot hand misses the mid-range jump shot. Here comes Jameer Young, the Niners, to Matos, to Threngill, corner three, got it! He's made three. Threadgill with the triple, Niners up 42-25. Love to see it, Matt Swearat, if you're the Sean 49ers. But again, that's a dagger for SC, up, or SC State because that's exactly uh, what their team has already been able to knock down here in big number five, Isaiah Felder, the grad transfer from uh, Savannah State. You're determined to have us play upstate tonight, aren't you? I know. Why do I? I just, I just can't. I can't agree <laughs> with uh, who's out there on the court right now. I think upstate. I feel like we've played them every year the past three or four years. So I just keep saying SC upstate, USC. I don't know what I'm doing, Matt. I don't just know why. Them, just call them the Bulldogs. I don't know. Why, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's. Yeah. SC upstate. See, look. I just. I can't stop. I can't stop. I don't know what's going on. Gietzen was fouled <laughs> inside by Milo Supica, who's still pleading his case and his hand straight up, but. So Milos picks up the personal foul, his second. And the 6'10", Sebastian Guillotin is going to go to the line to shoot a couple here with 17-15 to go. And he back rims the first one. If there's any uh, upstate fans that are listening in, they're, they're getting a show here tonight, though, I can tell you that. Well, they're probably not excited because they'd be losing right now <laughs> by 17. You know what? Let's check on USC Upstate and see what they're doing here tonight. Let's <laughs> see if they got a game in, the, in, uh, in college basketball. Wrong uh, uniform colors, too. They're green and black. There's literally nothing the same. There's nothing close. <laughs> yeah. Second free throw is good. So 42 to 26. Niners have the lead. Shepard to throw it in. It'll back to our press again. And they knock the ball away from Young, but he is able to track it down and keep possession for the Niners. Now to Matos, back to Jameer Young. He'll dribble towards the left, get it to Threadgill. On the wing, now to... Milos out top, one dribble and a handoff, and away from the ball is a foul, and it's going to be an offensive foul, and Threadgill is down, and he is uh, in some pain holding his leg. Yeah, I saw him go down right in front of me, and it looked like he got up. And he, I don't know, it's his left knee that they're looking at. He went down real hard on it, and he almost he buckled his knees together. And he's right in front of us. Now John Marshall, the Niner trainer, trying to help him out. And team doctor coming over as well. 
17 minutes to go in the game, three minutes into the second half. The Niners have a 42-26 to 26 lead. For over 30 years, the doctors at University Eye Associates have provided vision care to the Shaw and Fort Niners student-athletes, coaches, and fans. See University Eye Associates for all your eye care needs. University Eye, excellence in eye care. So right now they're working on Jackson, who is sitting up now. and He's going to be helped up by uh, John Marshall, and he's going to walk off, having a little bit of trouble putting some weight on that left leg. See the first one over there is Luca Vosic, and of course Luca, he's recovering from his second ACL surgery, so he's saying, you know what, anytime I see anybody go down to the floor, I'm probably going to be one of the first ones there to help out my teammate. Of course, the freshman Jackson Threadgill and his parents right over to our left, and they've supported him so much. Saw him, he was sitting front row almost every single game. That he didn't have a game for Davidson Day last year, he was sitting front row uh, to come watch the Shaw and 49ers. His kid bleeds. Green, Niner green and gold. And then look, a lot of guys going over to him and patting him on the back right now. Flagrant two was just called right there on Latavian Lawrence, who's been thrown out of the game. And Lawrence is the one who got tangled up with Jackson Threadgill. And uh, he came over to make sure Jackson knew he was not attempted to do that on purpose. And, uh, you know, tapped him on the back as he walked away. But Jameer Young went to the line, couple of shots on the flagrant two, and uh, made him. Makes one, it's now 43-26. So uh, that means Lawrence is out of the game with the flagrant two. And they're working on uh, Threadgill. It's his left leg, left knee area on the uh, training table next to the bench. It'll be Niner basketball, Shepard throwing it inbounds, gets it to Matos off the inbounds, but the shot is blocked from behind by Redu. Here comes South Carolina State. Felder for three, no good. Edwards the rebound to Guillotin inside, missed the shot, rebound loose on the floor, it's out of bounds, it'll stay with the Bulldogs of South Carolina State. Yeah, and that was Jameer Young who picked up the block from behind, and now he, he's looking, at, I believe he's talking to Isaiah Felder right now, saying, I know that was a cheap uh, a cheap block on my end, but hey, he gets his first one of the season. Uh, this is a talented sophomore from Heightsville. Inbounds to Felder. Out top, now to Redu, left it goes. This is Edwards, inside now. Backing his man down, Madol in the lane. He's gonna be called for a walk. Trying to work on Supica. He took a step too many. And on the traveling violation, the Niners get the ball back. That is the uh, second turnover of the second half by South Carolina State. They've got 10 in the game. And now the Niners break the press again. Matos in the front court to the bucket, puts it off the glass and in. Little indecision, I think. Does he throw it to Supica or shoot it? He shot it, and uh, it was a bit hard off the glass, but it goes in. Now they turn the ball over. The Bulldogs do in transition. Felder, he was uh, looking for Krosky to come out. Krosky went right. The ball went left out of bounds. It'll be Charlotte basketball. Yeah, just shooting 30% from the field right now are the Bulldogs. Felder leaves the game. Themis Folks is back on the floor. 16-21 to go. The Niners on top by 19, now 45 to 26. Charlotte has their shooting percentage up to 50% for the game. And Matt, just a quick little check in. USC Upstate, they are 0-4. Same as the Bulldogs. Exactly. So that that's There's your confusion. <laughs> I can see how you're messing that up. And I keep looking at green because of a Halton Arena. I normally oh, don't yeah. get to see the chairs because it's totally understand it. There we go. No worries. <laughs> Matt's going to get me out of here. Jordan Shepard now to the right side goes to Young. Now to Stone Carwell who's back in the game. First time in the second half for Caleb. Out top of the basketball. Puts it to the floor to the elbow he goes. Now to Young goes baseline. Floaty shot is up. No good off the iron as the shot clock whistle was blown. But the ball did hit the iron. Play continues. Now redo outside left for the Bulldogs. Guarded by Young out there. He'll get it to Edwards. Pump fake, one dribble, looks inside for Madol. Lost the ball on the dribble. It's on the floor. Niners hit the deck with them. They'll tie the ball up. A jump ball. The arrow will keep possession with South Carolina State, and that's going to take us to a timeout. 15-33 to go in the ball game. The Niners at home tonight on top by 19, 45 to 26. This is Charlotte basketball from Learfield IMG College.
15, 33 to go here in the second half. Charlotte 45, South Carolina State 26. So the basketball will remain with the Bulldogs. They'll put it in under their own basket as they go from left to right here in the second half. In the game now, Anzac Rosetto for the 49ers coming in for Supica. Inbounds to redo. Now to Edwards, a three ball. Good for the South Carolina State guard. It's now 45-29. More full court man-to-man -man for the Bulldogs. Niners trying to get it across the timeline. They do. Shepard on the far side of the floor. Shep picks his dribble up. He'll loft it for Stone Carrowell. Caleb picking his dribble up, gets it inside to Matos, who drives a floater, no good. Rebound South Carolina State. Redo has the basketball. He'll bring it up ahead. Now to Edwards. Picked up by Shepard. Niners and a man. Ashley now dropping into a 2 3. Little zone right now for the 49ers, it looks like. And now switching back to a man. Given that zone look, but it's a man to man. Yeah, yeah, definitely always given that zone. I feel like the Niners, they always get that zone look, and then Anzac's going. I think Anzac, he doesn't, I don't know if he. He, he has the zone down. He just goes man to man. He feels like he's got to be on his man. That picking up those two early fouls already is, is Anzac Rosetta. But I feel like every single time he comes in, again, he loves to bring the energy. And I know the Niner fans, they love to see him out there because he always is bringing some effort, always bringing energy on that defense end. And he's also talking to the ref and saying, hey, how can I not get called for this, uh, this push off? South Carolina State throws it back and bounds 18 to shoot. Niners lead by 16 right now. Driving the lane is Folks lost the basketball, couldn't finish. Here come the Niners running out. Shepard to Young, layup good. Another transition bucket for Charlotte. They lead by 18 once again. And he did the, the sham god, did Jordan Shepard, the, the famous toss and turn move right there, did Jordan Shepard and bringing a little flair here to Halton Arena. Niners have nine points off the break here tonight. And South Carolina State, who loves to run, only has three. Shot clock at nine for the Bulldogs. Game clock at 14.05, now five to shoot. Folks out top to redo. He'll launch one, a desperation shot, missed it. Medal the rebound, and a foul. It's on the 49ers and Zach Rosetto. Now believe no, that. it's on Medal. From, from Rosetto's reaction, I thought it was on him. <laughs> it looked like he was saying some words, some uh, choice words to himself right there. They're like, what are you doing? And look, they're, they're just dapping each other up. And it didn't look like there was a foul at all on Madal. He looked over at the ref. He goes, wait, what did you just call me that on? It looked like both of them had good position down low and just took a weird bounce off of uh, off the back iron and, and ended up going to Madal instead of Rosetta. But heck, he earned it. He earned that foul. I think did Rosetta right there. Wonderful position, and, and he did so well for about 25 seconds on the defensive shot clock right there. He'll leave the floor, and Garcia comes in for his second appearance today. Played briefly in the first half. Charlotte leads 49, 47-29. Bryce Williams lost the ball, gets it back, finds Garcia. His shot is no good. Too strong. Bryce the rebound. He scores inside, and the foul. So an and one coming for the Niners. Bryce Williams. The lead is 20 for the first time tonight, 49-29. Yeah, and if he can play this aggressive that he's doing tonight, again, he made up for a mistake that he did just outside the three-point line, was a little, uh, a little lackadaisical uh, with his dribbling, bounced it off his own foot, was able to recover right there, him and Garcia kind of going after it for that rebound as well. But if he can play up to the caliber that he is, is he misses that, but an offensive rebound, I think the Niners can really love him coming off the bench, or actually, of course, starting, but able to have him in the backcourt. Garcia tracked down the loose ball on the rebound. Niners up by 20 right now. Bryce Williams at the foul line with the basketball. Guarded by the smaller folks. Goes left, pulls up on a jumper off the side of the rim. No good. Garcia made that Matos almost tip the ball away for a steal, but it ends up in the hands of folks for South Carolina State. Now a left side jumper missed by Felder is back in the game, and Bryce Williams has another rebound for the 49ers. That's his fifth rebound tonight. Jameer Young with the ball, throws it back outside to Bryce Williams. Niners in the front court, under 13 to play. Niners lead by 20 here at home. Young to Garcia, out of Matos out top. 
Matos dribbles right, drives the lane, right hand off the glass. Good! Good finger roll, got the roll around the cylinder. Niners on top now by 22 with 12.41 to play. And so much touch, so much feel, so much finesse for the shot of 30 for the Shaw and 49ers. Love what Matos has been able to bring again. Filling that void that Drew Edwards, we didn't know if we were going to be able to fill, but again, Matos coming in and doing just so. Jerry Matos has seven tonight. Reduce. Pass across the floor is stolen by Jameer Young. Good anticipation by Young. He'll find Matos on the wing. Inside to Bryce Williams. Right box gets inside off the glass. No good. Go for the rebound. Couldn't get it. But there's Garcia to clean it up. Grab the loose ball off the floor. Put it right off the glass. And in the Niners by 24 with 12.04 to go. And a 30-second timeout called by the Bulldogs. It'll be stretched to a full with, again, 12.04 to go. It's 53 to 29, Charlotte. This is Niner basketball from Learfield IMG College. Of South Carolina State 53 to 29. They have held the Bulldogs to 29% shooting from the floor. A couple of players in double figures right now for Charlotte. Jameer Young has a dozen. He's also made three three pointers. And Jackson Threadgill has 11. He's made three three pointers as well. And he is currently back in the locker room getting checked out as uh, he hurt his knee uh, about. Uh, four or five minutes ago of game action had to come out of the game. Yeah, it was looking so good. And, and Matt, literally, as you just said that, I looked right over uh, looked right over to the locker room where you can almost see, and it looks like Threadgill and John Marshall, the, the athletic chair, he was walking. He was still in his game uniform. He looked like he was still favoring that left that left knee, but he was. they were just walking on, on the way back, so we'll likely uh, hopefully see him come out this way. Or I mean, again, I don't know. They could be going somewhere else, but it looked like they were hopefully going to be coming back to the to the bench. We'll see in the next few minutes. That would be great news. Isaiah Felder now with the ball. Left it goes. Here's a three by Folks. No good. Rebound Shepard for the 49ers, who lead right now 53-29. Jordan Shepard brings it ahead. Far side of the floor. In the front court, behind the arc, behind his back, now to Caleb Stone Carowell. Matos out top, straight away three off the back of the rim. Garcia fight for the rebound. He tipped it outside. And here comes South Carolina State. Redo for three. That's short. On the rebound, it's going to be Bryce Williams. I believe that's Bryce's sixth rebound here tonight. It is. He had a personal best seven in the last game. And, yeah, Jackson Threat goes back of the bench, and he's, he's walking, doesn't seem to be limping very much, which is certainly great news. That is a good sign. 
Now Williams inside, off the glass, and in. A foul again. And the end one opportunity once again for Bryce Williams with the 49ers on top 55-29 at the 11.09 mark. And that's going to take us to a timeout before the free throw. And again, another good sign, Jackson Threadgill is on the stationary bike right now. So that's certainly great news for the 49ers who lead right now by 26. We're back in a moment. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. Ball is sponsored by Progressive's Home Insurance. Get your quote at Progressive.com today. Yeah, welcome back inside Halton. Matt and Trevor with you. The Niners on top. 55-29 over South Carolina State. One free throw coming here for Bryce Williams. And the sophomore from Hopewell High School makes the shot. And a three-point play the old-fashioned way. The Niners on top. 56-29. Now South Carolina State quickly pushing it ahead into the front court. 11 minutes to go. Now the Bulldogs. Well, there's a whistle inside away from the ball. It's going to be on the 49ers. It's going to be on, uh, I believe, Jared Garcia. Yeah, I'd like to see the sample size, though, with Garcia uh, continue. Uh, to be large here in the in the second half. I would love to see him for most of the second half against uh, over Milo Supica. Redo missing a jump shot. Niners the rebound. They're going to fast break run out. Shepard lays it in. Great pass on the fast break by Jameer Young. And the Niners really pulling away now, leading by 29 over South Carolina State. Now the Bulldogs have the seven-footer Dallas James in the game right now, a freshman from California. There's a missed three by Felder. Niners get the rebound. Garcia clears that away. Now Shepard up the floor to Stone Carowell in the paint, puts his shoulder into Felder, and he's called for an offensive foul. And that's going to be the first on Caleb Stone Carowell tonight with 10-29 with to play in the game. South Carolina State gets the ball back, and they bring Sebastian Guillotin back in the game. we got a 6'10 kid and a 7-footer on the floor right now. Also back in is Rashawn Edwards. Yeah, if you're Charlotte and of course, uh, if, if you're the head coach uh, and your assistant coaches, you're wanting to see Caleb Stone Carroll make that extra pass. He could have easily found a wide open bucket uh, trailing to his left side, but decided to go for that aggressive shot with a body right in front of him. Bulls looking for Ganton. The pass knocked away. It'll stay with South Carolina State. 18 to shoot. Coming in the game now, Milo Supica. And going out is Garcia. Nice minutes by... Uh, the big guy, Jared Garcia, gets a handshake from head coach Ron Sanchez as he heads towards the uh, Niners sideline. And now Moore is going to throw it in bounds far corner along the South Carolina State sideline. Gets it to Folks. Back to Moore. Left side three. Off the iron. No good on the rebound. The Niners have it. Stone Carrollwell clearing that away. Good box out by Caleb. Now in the front court, Jameer Young. Gets it to Stone Carrollwell. Behind the arc, out top. Bounce pass to Supica out high. 
Milos guarded by the seven footer out there. Out of Stone Carowell. He'll back it out. This is Williams. Now to Jameer Young back to Stone Carowell. Here's a drive and a foul as the seven foot center, Dallas James, commits the personal foul and sends Stone Carowell to the free throw line. Yeah, I love Stone Carowell. Again, whenever he gets the basketball in his hand, he looks so aggressive. He looks to drive it to the paint. Again, he's able to jump out and knock down that, lo that long jump or even that three point shot. He's got a good IQ as well. Again, he worked on that IQ over the last year on the offense and defensive end and now working on a shot as well as he knocks down the first free throw. Now, Caleb Stone Carowell, three points tonight. Niners now on top by 30 with one more free throw. That's no good, but Milos, the offensive rebound, puts it up, no good. The tip in is good by Williams. Bryce Williams gives the Niners a 32-point lead now, 61-29 with 9.35 to go. Yeah, tonight it's been Milo Supica on the offensive rebounds for the Shawn 49ers. I believe it's the fourth one he's picked up tonight. He's had a few tip-ins as well, and Bryce Williams falling in line with the tip-in himself. Edwards a three, no good. Offensive rebound to James, puts it up, no good. And it's out of bounds. It'll be Niner basketball. So that last rebound on the tip-in by Bryce Williams gives him seven rebounds tonight. That's back-to-back -back games in which he's had seven boards. So a personal record now duplicated tonight. He had 10 points in the Georgia State game as well. He's got seven, actually nine right now. So he's, he's a bucket away from tying his career high of 11. Stone Carowell out top to Shepard. Now to the right side it goes. Here's Bryce in the corner for three. Bottom! A new career high. 12 points for Bryce Williams. And now a steal by Shepard. He'll give it to Bryce. Bryce driving to the bucket. Lay it is good. Bryce Williams with 14. And almost another steal by Jordan Shepard. Great defense by the 49ers. 8.48 to go. 66-29 Charlotte. And the Niner defense has been phenomenal tonight. We got a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout taken by South Carolina State. Again, Matt, of course, huge shoes to fill with his father, Henry Williams, of course, being the all-time leading scorer here with the Charlotte 49ers. He's got the banner up there along with Byron Dinkins, the banner uh, sitting on the bench for the Charlotte 49ers. But again, uh, you love to see him coming, staying at home. He's got 14 points, seven rebounds. He's got two offensive rebounds as well. Again, him and Milos doing really well on that uh, over the last two minutes on the defensive and offensive glass board. Four offensive rebounds for Supica here on the both of them have seven rebounds. Again, this is more. This is the complete team that the Niners know they can toss out. Now, of course, they need to be able to bring this type of energy to the uh, higher level of competition. Of course, we have App State on Friday, and then next week, the Crosstown rival in Davidson. You have to be able to match uh, match this energy no matter what the outcome is like. You have to match this energy, energy if you want to give yourself a chance uh, going into conference play. And the Niners back on defense, 8.38 to go. South Carolina State trying to get inside, they do. This is Madol, pass outside, knocked away, stolen. Niners have a three on nothing break and they throw it away. Stone Carowell a little too anxious. He had Shep on his left and Jameer Young on his right and he went to scoop it and he just kind of flipped it right by both of them. <laughs> Shep goes, I was the one in front of you. Pass me the ball. <laughs> so I think <laughs> maybe that's him coming in with Jameer Young and saying, you know what? Hey, I want to give it to the guy who's my age. I don't want to give it to I don't want to give it to him. He's, he's had enough of those uh, dunks at Oklahoma in here. I want to give it to Young for the highlight dunk, but no one got it. Either way, he was coming in hot and he couldn't <laughs> hang on to it. Here's more for three. That's no good. Boy, they are ice cold from the floor. Supica the rebound, and Shep brings it up into the front court. Right-handed bounce and lob it up. Stone Carowell, no good, but a foul as he went for the slam off the alley-oop. And Caleb Stone Carowell goes back to the free throw line for a couple with 7.56 to go. That'll take us to the under eight media timeout. 66-29, the Niners on top of South Carolina State. We'll break for a moment back in just a few minutes. This is Niner basketball from Learfield IMG College.
On top, big over South Carolina State, 66 to 29. Got free throws coming for Caleb Stone Carowell right now. At Harris Teeter, no matter how you celebrate, it's all about the food. Delicious subs and wraps, fresh hot store made pizza, ready to serve wing trays and lots more. Plus, with Harris Teeter's fuel points, you can earn free fuel with every purchase up to a dollar off per gallon. Harris Teeter, we're not our fan shop for groceries. First free throw is good by Caleb. He's having a nice night. Four points, three rebounds, couple of assists for the redshirt freshman out of Concord. And the next one, no good. Of course, his dad, Chris, the assistant coach at Duke, was a great player at Duke. Now South Carolina State running out, and Moore is able to finish in the lane with a right-handed running shot. That'll snap the uh, run of 22 to nothing for the 49ers. Wow. They're on top 67-31. How about that, 22 to nothing. Yeah, Jordan Shepard, he came out of that timeout right there onto the court, and before Stone Carewell got to the line, he goes, yo, next time throw the ball up to me. <laughs> he was still, <laughs> still harping on him about that missed alley-oop. Now Stone Carewell, nice shot in the lane as Bryce Williams found him, found the cutter for the easy one from three feet. Yeah, picking apart that zone, that defensive zone from the Bulldogs, all the Charlotte 49ers. Again, not a lot of dribbling needs to be going on. It's just passing. It's more of a triangle-type pass that you need to get to that free throw line. They penetrated that with easy, and Cone Stone Carewell able to, get, able to get it done. Now Moore splitting the double team, but he missed the running shot. He was wide open, couldn't finish it. Here come the uh, 49ers. Shepard now to Jameer Young. He almost had the catch-and-shoot three, but couldn't get set. Now gets it to Milos outside. 17 to shoot, one dribble and a handoff, and Jameer can't hang on to it. The pass a little bit too tall as he was cutting towards Milos and couldn't react and catch it behind him. So it'll be South Carolina State ball coming in as Anzac Rosetto for Supica with 6.46 to play. I thought he was going to take over one of our uh, video, our, our head video guy right there at midcourt, but again, good agility there from Jameer Young getting the three-time state champion, three-time champion up there at DeMath, the Catholic High School in Maryland. Ozzy's a pro, he didn't flinch. He held that camera strong. I don't know about that. Edwards on the right side. He'll give it up down the baseline to Lawrence. Now a shot is up and in. So Nelson hasn't done much offensively here tonight. In fact, he came in averaging under a point a game, but there's a bucket for him. It's now 69 to 33. And Matt, I think you said it perfectly with Ron Sanchez in the pregame interview. You said, hey, they got 14 guys and they're gonna play all 14. And that's exactly what they're doing here tonight. They can all come in. They're all gonna shoot it confidently no matter how much they're averaging. Under six minutes to play now. Jameer Young gets it to Bryce Williams out top. Bryce back to Young. Young dribbles towards the center circle, now gives it up on the wing. This is Stone Carowell, three-pointer no good. As the shot clock was running out, he got the shot away in time. Now Edwards. Edwards gets it back off a give and go. Shot at the free throw line or outside the free throw line is no good. On the rebound, there's a foul, and it's going to be on the 49ers. It's on Anzac Rosetto. That's now four on Anzac. Macho's coming back in for the Niners, replacing Bryce Williams. Bryce, 14.7 rebounds. Both are career highs for him. And loving this teaching moment right now for Sanchez with Bryce Williams. He's and whenever you have a lead like this, you're able to kind of relax and you, and you can coach during the game. That's one of the toughest things for a coach is, is figuring out, hey, I mean, yeah, you can yell at your bench as much as you want. You can yell at the players when they come in, but a lot of time those are just teaching moments. Those are drawing up plays. But right now, him and Bryce getting some quality uh, seconds and quality, I guess you can even say minutes now, talking about some former plays. Redo, getting it inside of Madal. The shot is blocked away by Rosetto. Niners have the basketball. They get it up ahead to Stone Carewell. Back to Shepard. They give him the go, and he finishes with a right-handed layup. 71-33. I think Shep's going, that's what you should have done just about two or three minutes ago whenever we had the alley-oop alley opportunity. But again, love the aggression right there from Stone Carewell as he was able to penetrate to the paint. Manning to Lawrence's threes and air ball. Might have been partially blocked by Caleb Stone Carewell. Here come the 49ers right to left into the front court. So one and out again for the Bulldogs. Shepard in the right wing. Anzac trying to post up. They get it to him low. Back outside to Matos. He'll launch a three. Bottom. He got it. A three-pointer. 
The Niners now lead by 41, if my math is correct. 74-33. Yeah, you're not a math major, but yeah, correct. 41 points right Far there. Far from it, really. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hey, Mato, so you just, I love the way that he's just so nonchalant. He's so relaxed. He always looks down almost like LeBron before he, he knocks down the three as looks like that's out on SC State. Yeah, Lawrence in the drive couldn't hang on to it. Lost the, uh, the handle off the high dribble. And now Manning out of the game back on the floor is going to be uh, Isaiah Felder, who's had his moments tonight. Felder has made a couple of shots. He's got nine points. Niners have the basketball, leading by 41 with 4.15 to go. Matos in the right corner. In the front court, gets it back out to Shepard. Now to Young. Charlotte's made nine three-pointers tonight. That's a season high. Matos banks it out. Well, the Niners have shot the ball so much better tonight than the first two nights from behind the arc. Here's a three by Shep. That's no good, but a long rebound run down by Jameer Young. Yeah, a lot of offensive opportunities, a lot of offensive rebound opportunities for the Niners here tonight, and they're capitalizing against SC State. Shepard left corner, shot clock at seven. Back out top it goes to Matos. Inside, Garcia, baseline, Shepard, good! He's got a nice touch for a big fella. It's now 76 to 33 with three and a half to play. Yeah, beautiful touch again from the 6'8 freshman who he can really play down low, but again, he's out, he's able to go and spread the floor as well. Lawrence in the paint scores. I'm not sure there's much contact at all, but they get the foul call on the 49ers. It's going to be on Jameer Young. That'll be a second. Free throw coming with the and one. Bryce Williams coming back in the game for the 49ers. It's our last media timeout, 322 to play. And the 49ers lead the Bulldogs of South Carolina State 76 to 35. This is Niner basketball from Learfield IMG College. Three twenty-two left to go. Matt Swarad with Trevor Wilt back in the studio. Mario Washington, as the Niners are well on their way to their first win of the season. They've got this one under control, leading by forty-one right now, with three twenty-two to go. Got a free throw coming for Kume Nelson after making that running shot. He was fouled by Jameer Young. So one free throw coming. Nelson, a junior from Great Falls, South Carolina. Not too far from here. Makes the shot. Now coming in the ball game is going to be Omar Krosky replacing, replacing Nelson. Niners have Stone Carowell, Matos, Shepard, Bryce Williams, and Garcia in the game. 3.18 to go. Niners break a little pressure in the backcourt. Now Shepard out near the center circle. Bounce pass to Garcia out high. Inside it goes to Machos. On the baseline, he'll turn a high arcing jumper is no good. And the rebound to South Carolina State. Redo pushing it up the floor. Floyd Redo Jr. He's had a good night. Now to Edwards. The free throw line spins, throws it off to the right side. 
Giantzen with it. Giantzen picks his dribble up, 15 to shoot, throws it back outside to Felder. It was guarded by Stone Carowell. Shot clock under 10 now. Felder dribbling out top. Bounce pass to Giantzen, but it goes right by him. He tried to feed him on the run. He threw it too hard, too fast by him. It'll be a turnover. And Matt, I love the way that the Charlotte 49ers are playing tonight, especially on the defensive end with Matos. I know we talked about it before the game as well, and what, four fouls and five fouls in the first two games. He has no fouls here tonight in 26 minutes of action, including 10 points, three assists, and two rebounds as well, so still able to get it done. All right, I'm going to have to ask you with your your fine prep work. Number 24 just checking the game. It's Regan, our, our good boy in Regan, Regan Larson for the Charlotte Fort Niners. It's not Regan, it's R-E-G-I-N. -E All right. Transfer from Pfeiffer, went to Hickory Grove High School right up the road. Well, they had him on the roster at 14, that's why I asked. I, yeah, I don't, yeah, it looks, and he has no last name on the back. And no why, last name on the back, yes. Well, the Niners miss a shot. Here comes South Carolina State. A three attempted by Krosky. That's no good, and Larson has the rebound. There we go. There's his first rebound as a 49er. He went to Pfeiffer before transferring to play for the 49ers. So, Regan Larson now in the game. Stone Carowell gives it to Bryce Williams. 142 to go in this one. Niners on top, 76 to 36. Larson, now to Bryce Williams, he'll spot up for a three. Off the rim, no good. On the rebound, South Carolina State. Felder comes away. He'll bring it up ahead, 129 to go. Guillotin inside is going to be fouled on the floor. Rick Crawford on the call. Bryce Williams picks up his second personal foul. And Regan Larson, this is a guy who, he actually shot over 41% from long range um, at Pfeiffer. And again, he only played one year there, averaged 4.1 points per game. He had three starts in 25 games as a freshman and then shot 55% from three at Hickory Grove, which again, not too far up the road from uh, what Cockhorn Mills. Now gets in second free throw, makes them both. 76-38 and now coming in is Jadakus Wright. So Wright seeing his first action, a six-foot freshman from Beach Island, South Carolina. Pressure in the backcourt. Niners break it easily. Bryce Williams to Garcia. Garcia walks. Niners turn the ball over. Good idea, but it's too much uh, movement before you put the ball on the deck. Niners up 38 right now. Edwards will inbounds. Actually, it's going to be redo, throwing it in to Edwards. He got a little happy feet. I think Garcia did right there. He was just shuffling like a like a penguin on a on a cold winter day. He's built like a linebacker. <laughs> he's a big, strong dude. Giantin missing a jump hook at his own rebound. Puts it back up. That's no good. And Garcia has the rebound for the 49ers. That's his fourth rebound tonight. Nice job getting his first extended playing time. Here's a steal off. A pass across the floor, and the shot is no good by Krosky, but he's fouled by Garcia. Yeah, really not a, two on Garcia. Yeah, not a heads-up play there from, from Stone Carowell. I mean, he didn't even have the defense really penetrating him at all over there, guarding him uh, towards the timeline, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to push this ball up the court, and, hey, need to relax on the way up and then get the half-court offense going, and you only had about – you wanted to, of course – take about 25 to 27 seconds away as much as you could and uh, ended up and that's what him and and look, that's what him and Sanchez are saying right now he's like hey slow things down don't just start chucking things up uh, that's not the way to do it first free throw is good Ford is built to fit your lifestyle check out the great offers on vehicles that will help you win the day at buyfordnow.com learn why they're built for victory and built for the Carolinas contact your Carolina Ford dealer proud partner of 49er athletics both free throws are good so it's now 76 to 40. Niners a big, comfortable lead. Pressure in the backcourt for the Bulldogs. Niners get it to Bryce Williams. He brings it across the timeline on the far side of the floor, and then he waits for his teammates to get up the floor as well. Now to Matos, to Garcia. Under a minute to go, 41 seconds left, as the Niners have a big lead against South Carolina State. Matos out top. To Garcia for a layup. Beautiful pass inside to the big fella from Katy, Texas. Yeah, wonderful finishing and getting finesse and touch uh, with the left hand. Again, showing how versatile he really is in 25 in white and Garcia. 
And the Niners have the rebound off a miss from South Carolina State. And Coach Sanchez saying just run the clock out right now. 13 seconds to play. And now we're under 10 as the 49ers are going to win this ball game 78 to 40 over South Carolina State. Get their first win of the year. The two head coaches meeting at half court and exchanging a fist bump. And that's going to do it. There's the horn. It's a 49ers winner tonight as they played South Carolina State for the second time in program history. And the result, again, is a Niner W. So tonight, the final score is Charlotte 78 and South Carolina State 40. And uh, coming up, our post-game show. So stick around. This is Niner basketball from Learfield IMG College. It's bow time. <laughs> So it's game time, and you got a bunch of rabid fans. Dad, we're hungry. You head out to fire up burgers and dogs and go from grill master to MVP, but you're at a GAS. Drop a big bow box on it. The game on. Feed a family of four. Charlotte Sports Network from Learfield IMG College. Welcome to the Harris Teeter Post Game Show. The Harris Teeter Post Game Show is brought to you by Harris Teeter, where 49ers fans shop for groceries. Great clips. It's going to be great. Ford, built for victory, built for the Carolinas. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Ortho Carolina, you improve. Domino's, the number one delivery of the Charlotte 49ers. Now, let's head back courtside. Here's Matt Swearad. And welcome back inside Halt and Arena. Time now for the Harris Teeter postgame show. Good game here tonight for the Niners. They shoot 52%. And uh, just kind of beat up and run away from South Carolina State, 78 to 40. I welcome back in Trevor Wilton. Trevor, the great thing about this is uh, the Niners got everybody involved and some young players that haven't had a lot of playing time yet saw much more action on the floor tonight and did a nice job. Yeah, they really did. I mean, even with Anzac Rosetto, eight minutes for him, he had a, his plus minus was plus seven. He ended up coming up with four blocks, Matt. Four blocks for Anzac. He did have four fouls, but that's uh, almost uh, common for him. Also three rebounds at one point. Some other guys, of course, Williams, 14.7 rebounds with a couple assists uh, and in 27 minutes. And uh, uh, those are the usual suspects. But you love to see all the minutes that Stone Carewell, Thread Gilgan, he had 11 points, three threes, and he only played about, a, uh, he only played about what, 20, just over 20 minutes out there on the court before getting injured. Actually, no, it was 12 minutes, Matt. So he had 11 points in 12 minutes. And I know it's probably going to be too early for 
Ron Sanchez to be able to give us uh, any type of indication what happened. But nonetheless, he has ice on it and he's walking. So that's probably the best thing. Yeah, you know, the great news was he came back out and he was on the bike for about 10, 15 minutes. And then he iced it down. And he seems to be walking well. So I'm sure they'll be careful with him and they'll probably take a closer look the next couple of days. But that's certainly great news to see uh, Jackson up and about like that. And really was having a, a tremendous ball game, making the three shots that were three pointers and uh, had for him a personal high in points in just a short period of time, scoring 11. Niners had five players tonight uh, scoring double figures. So when you score 78, man, that's a big number, but it's not like you're, you know, 90, 95, having that many players. That tells you how much balance uh, throughout the offense the Niners had here tonight. And uh, the only 49er who did not score, Regan Larson, he came in the last couple of minutes, um, the transfer from Pfeiffer, and he didn't get a shot off, so uh, didn't get a chance to. But everybody else really just uh, sharing the basketball, doing a really nice job. And now we're joined by uh, Niners head coach Ron Sanchez to get his his thoughts uh, on this one here tonight and uh, coach nice uh, really nice total team effort here tonight you got a guy um, a lot of guys uh, some playing time that uh, haven't seen a lot of uh, you know action on the floor some of you the, the, the new guys and uh, did a nice job yeah no they did you know it's, it's nice to get guys some minutes you know first uh, you know so glad that um, you know because Murray brought his team over and that they were able to make this game happen and you know all the stuff we got we have going on and we're also excited and so so thankful for the opportunity to play um, but definitely you know pleased with the selflessness that we played the game today that has been the the emphasis since you know our first game to our second game to now really trying to play a, an unselfish brand of basketball and um, you know we feel like the basketball is like medicine you know um, it has it has it has energy the more guys touch it the better guys feel and you know if we can get you know to playing the game that way um, you know I think they'll enjoy playing more I think that we can um, you know have a little more success and um, that's going to be what we continue to value um, as we go. You know, let's talk defense a little bit. You guys did a really nice job in the first half. You you have four shot clock violations where, you know, you, you're playing throughout the 30 second shot clock. Uh, transition defense was very good tonight as well against a team that wants to push the ball. Yeah, no, this is this. I think that you know they're one of the fastest teams tempo wise in the country. So we knew they were going to push the ball up the floor, and you saw. You know they can let it fly. You know they made some 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 shots that you're like, oh, are they really going to shoot that with range? And um, they can get going. You know we watch you know their games and um, you know some of them they were they were pretty competitive in, in some segments there. So we had to you know really make sure that our transition D you know was sharper. It hasn't been as sharp as, as we would like. You know we're not a a team that runs up and down, so you can't practice against that the way that you know you want to do it. Um, you know in a live setting, we try to mimic it the best that we can. But when it's not something you do every day, it's, it's harder but it is something that we have to continue to work on you know we want to be good defensively and it all starts with transition D you know if you're not if you're not good in transition then nothing else really matters hey coach you guys got out to a, a pretty big lead in that first half so you're able to go to your bench pretty early as well 24 points from your bench and that's more than you guys had in the first two games combined what did you like whenever you were able to bring in uh, guys like stone care well thread gill and, and even Garcia and Rosetto you know, um, our, our freshmen haven't had any experience, you know, so uh, for me, the more experience they get, the better they will become as players. The slower the game will get for them, the more comfortable they become on the floor. Um, so today was great that I, you know, that we had the opportunity to to play them, to give them some minutes when it mattered, and not at the end of the game, but just in the first half. And we kind of came in with that game plan. Uh, we need those guys for the for our future this season, you know. So the more minutes that we can get them, the better they, they will be. So whenever the opportunity presents itself, we'll put them in there. Um, you know, you can tell some mistakes are happening, but they. They got to have those failing experiences in order for them to get better and improve. Um, so, you know, it was nice that we were able to play them early. Um, I mean, Jackson got banged up. I hope he's okay. But at one point, I think we had, you know, five newcomers on the floor today. Coach, I want to ask you about Bryce Williams. Uh, had a really nice game against Georgia State. The seven rebounds, the block shots. Uh, he duplicated that tonight. So it's nice mm -hmm. to see him put it back to back. Uh, mm -hmm. Had some offense for you tonight, too, but also seven rebounds again. He did. No, he's rebounding the ball well. You know, he's defending well. Um, he got a little loose there with the ball a couple of times, got a little casual, you know, and that's the part of his growth also because, you know, it's not like he's a guy that logged, you know, 30 minutes a game last season. This is kind of new for him, so he's learning.
learning how to, you know, be on edge and bring it every day and bring it in practice. And, you know, his growth um, is, 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 is evident, you know, where he was at this point last season to where he is. But I think, you know, there's so much more still for him. So we got to continue to push him. And I'm glad that we, too, can give him an, an opportunity for him to grow while he's playing. And, Coach, looking at Milo Supico in those first about five to seven minutes, he looked like the guy that we have saw of old, that mm -hmm. he's had those spurts in the, over the past three seasons, and he had that spurt the first five or seven minutes, eight points. He was on the offensive glass like he, always, they, like he used to be. What, did anything get into him? Did you get into him before the game? Did uh, uh, just kind of walk us walk us through what you saw from Milos basically tonight? Yeah, no, I mean his effort was was there, and, and for us, you know, everything does start with effort. You know, we, we can't coach effort. That's the one thing. I mean, they got to bring that juice every day. When in an arena that's empty, you know, things are different now. You know, and we're learning. You know, there's something that our first game we didn't know what to expect, and you you stand there and you're like, whoa, there, you know, we made three great plays, and there's no crowd, no cheering, no energy. I always feel that your your home court, you know, is worth you know, six to eight points every game. I mean, I think about the last game here. I mean, Bryce had two phenomenal blocks. They, this place would have erupted, you know, and we would have gotten some energy and we would have went from there and, the, you know, would have picked up. But now, you know, you get a couple of those blocks and it's just me and the rest of the staff <laughs> clapping. You know, it's not the same as, you know, having, you know, this this gold mine in here, you know, exploding on, 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 on those high-level plays. And, um, you know, so we just got to keep, you know, finding energy, finding time. And, you know, for Milos to get in there and get after the glass, and, um, you know, I, I think this year's BYE. You know, you got to bring your own energy every day, you know, so. And finally, your, your backcourt, Shepard and Young, they shot a high percentage tonight. They, you know, dished the ball out. They had some rebounds, played well. Yeah, no, they did. They did. Their plus minus was was phenomenal. Again, they, they share the ball well. That's what we have to be all the time. That has been our biggest challenge. You know, when do I, when don't I pass the ball? You know, we, we lost our rhythm a little bit being off for so long. We lost the pace of the offense. We're trying to pick all that stuff up. Um, but it's coming. You know, it, it just takes time. It takes games. You know, every team in the country is doing the same exact thing. Um, so we just, you know, we're not going to make, you know, excuses or anything. We're just going to put our heads down and just keep working, keep grinding, and, you know, see where this takes us. You know, um, this, th these times are hard. It's challenging. You know, these guys are, are social kids. Your, your team gets, you know, it be becomes united off the floor, and it helps them on the court. Right now they can't do that. You know, we're dealing with a lot of different obstacles, and it does impact them emotionally and mentally, you know, games get canceled you know so we just have to find a way to really just be thankful you know and 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 find joy in all the circumstances that w that are that are presented to us you know our administration is doing a great job of giving us an opportunity to play the the venue people are doing their part i mean we're all working really hard and we're not going to become you know victims of of what's going on we're just going to embrace it and approach it all with tremendous joy and it looks like uh, looking at our schedule that we are playing on Friday now against App State. That's our next game, right? Yes, right now that's our next game. You know, um, <laughs> at Friday at 5 p.m. and then we'll have time to to prepare. You know, if, if I get a phone call tomorrow and it's a you know something got canceled and we got a big game on Wednesday and a and an ACC team <laughs> wants to play us, our next game might be Wednesday. We, we got the door open. You know, uh, we want to play. We want to play against good teams as often as we can. We need to continue to get more minutes and more time. Um, I'll play anybody right now at this point. And yeah, we saw this early in football coach because you know the way games are TV wants games and we're gonna be on national TV on Friday App yeah. States ESPNU and a yeah. chance to, to showcase the country the new floor the new logo the, and the team yeah no it's gonna be fun it's gonna be um, you know again then those things are sidebars but they are important you know but we just got to continue to stay the course continue to play and you know and so on I do want to send you know my best to all the seniors on the football team and those kids showed up yesterday not having played a game in a month you know laid it on the line you know for for the university um, you know we sorry we couldn't be there to support you because of the limitations and fans but you know we're cheering for all you guys and as, as things keep going you know, we'll be cheering hard for you and just know how much we appreciate you guys being able to play and I know that you guys are so thankful that um, you've had an opportunity to play. So keep your heads up and, you know, keep battling through and know that, you know, our fans here, we appreciate you, we support you. And, um, you know, I know it's been a hard season, but know that, uh, you know, we all of us, all of us do appreciate what you guys are doing over there on the, on the football field. Coach, thanks so much. Really appreciate 
you guys as well, and we will see you on Friday night. I may not. I'll be with the football team in Marshall. Trevor's going to have the call. Uh, but if you get a game on Wednesday, yeah. let me know. I'll be here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Trevor's alone. All downhill from there. All downhill from there. Stuck with me, Coach. <laughs> Stuck with me. No, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good evening. You too, Coach. <laughs> Head Coach Ron Sanchez. Back with more of the postgame show in a moment. Niners winning here tonight. Winning big. 78-40 over South Carolina State. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. It's bow time. <laughs> so it's game time, and you got a bunch. Maybe on the outside oh, of the yeah. mask. There we go. Yeah, it's on the outside of my face mask. Guys.